Ladies and gentlemen, finally it is here, the new GD4 RS. The new GT4 RS has a 500 horsepower engine directly from the GT3. It revs up to 9000 RPM. It has a dry sump lubrication. It has a rigid valve train. It has all the features a race car's engine has, and it's such a pleasure to drive in that car. Next thing, let's look at the aerodynamics. The car is RS. RS means Rennsport. So it's a car for the track, but it's a car for pleasure driving as well. It is so much fun on the street and it's very capable on the racetrack. Look at the aerodynamics. The car has a lot more downforce than its little brother, the GT4. You can see it on the front wing, which is protruding a little bit more. There's more air coming out of the rear side of the cooler. We have this new front fenders made of carbon fiber uh, that extract the air out of the wheel wells. We have additional brake cooling through the nectar ducts in the carbon fiber hood. We have a new wing which is supported on the swan neck supports like we do on the race cars, like we have it on the GT3 models. It's a very efficient method of putting a wing on a car which produces more downforce and gives us a better aerodynamical balance. This is accompanied by a diffuser underneath the car and a new underbody which help the stream velocity to be as quick as possible on the backside to produce additional downforce. And here we have another feature that hasn't been there on the 718 platform so far. This is the air intake for the GT3 engine that is supported in the middle of the car. All the process air enters here and goes through ducts to a visible intake system that is right behind the driver's ears and that makes a great sound, I can tell you. Here you can see the ducts from the outside directly to the air filter element which is placed here and this is a whole new bespoke system especially developed for the GT4S. This is something new to this model line and it is something very, very emotional. A lot of changes on the suspension as well. Spherical ball joints on all joints here. We have magnesium wheels for the Weissach package and forged aluminum wheels for the normal version. We have bigger brakes. We have the four tenths and three 90 millimeters uh, optional Porsche ceramic discs. And we have a 408 millimeter all new steel disc for the standard model. We have new dampers on this car, Torta springs and a new geometry as well. The car has an adjustable suspension, so you can change the camber, you can change toe-in, you can change the right height in order to get the best corner weighting out of the car to make it a stable experience. We have ultra-high performance tires, Michelin Cup 2s and Dunlops, and for the first time we offer Michelin Cup 2R race tire version for extended track use that gives the best track times on this car. If we just have a look at the interior, for the first time we use Racetex material on the upper part of the dashboard, which gives it a very classy and racy look. We have carbon fiber trim, we have the Weissach package insignia and we have a very lightweight roll cage made of titanium. But you know what I like best about this car? It's the engine sound, it's the emotion, it's incredible the experience you get when you drive that thing.